the whole Olympics has been um, just so incredible to first of all just for it to even happen. Um, you know, I know with the postponement of the games, um, you know, it's been hard for everybody, but specifically the athletes, like what they've had to go through for me to be able to be here and, and be part of the coverage. And especially knowing that, you know, no families, no fans, nobody is here. You know, we are trying our absolute best to just be able to, you know, bring back the coverage uh, to the families and to the fans back at home. Being on the other side of things, it's definitely a little less sleep. Anytime I, you know, get back after a very long day and I see the Olympic rings, like anything, like anything that has the Olympic rings, like it just kind of reminds you, um, you know, no matter how tired you are, no matter, no matter how many hours of sleep that you got, um, we're all here for that same reason and that same passion and it's like, it's the Olympics and that's kind of what, to me at least, what the spirit is all about and kind of uniting the entire world together for, for these few weeks. The pressure I think that we all put amongst ourselves as athletes, um, you know, that's, that's something that um, it's hard to not put pressure on yourself just because you know that you've trained your whole entire life essentially for almost this one goal and this one dream and so you know, there's there's nerves, there's pressure, there's there's expectations, um, and I think you know I obviously can't speak on behalf of everybody, but I know for me specifically, I really just wanted to make everybody proud, you know, and it was it was far more beyond the final result or a medal or a medal count. It was more so, you know, the pressure of knowing that you're representing an entire nation. Um, and you know that everybody's back at home watching and, and cheering you on and supporting you. And so you just almost want to like live up to that in a way. Uh, you know, Simone kind of said it um, best. And, and then also at the same time, it was almost like heartbreaking to, you know, hear her say that she just hoped that, you know, America was still proud. And so, you know, I've been on both sides of that where you're just like, on the other side now, it's like, of course you, you know, of course America's still proud of you. But then I remember, you know, being on the other side and whether you have a mistake or something, you, you, you do feel that way, you know, it's, you don't want to disappoint anybody, but, um, you know, there's certainly pressure that is just, uh, it's almost like a given, you know, it's, it's, you come into a situation like this and you truly just want to make everybody proud and, um, you know, Team USA and, and really not just Team USA, but all these athletes are doing such an incredible job at, at doing so. You know, I think my letter to Simone really was just um, every single thing I said it is just the way that I felt and, and it was my hope was for her to read it and um, believe every single one of those things because it is so much more than a medal count and so much more than any gold medal. You know, I think for me, I struggled with that a lot, you know, as I was transitioning and, and I guess quote unquote retired from gymnastics was for so long I did think that, you know, I was going to be defined by a gold medal and I was going to be defined by a medal count and I was going to be defined by a sport. Um, and when I realized like that's not the case, like we will never be defined by a medal or a medal count or a job title, a salary, a relationship, any of those things, like those aren't the things that will ever define us as humans. Um, and so uh, that was kind of like hopefully um, the biggest message, I think, and that she's just setting such an incredible example for not only this generation, but so many generations to come. Um, and the importance of making sure, you know, that you prioritize your mental health and that you prioritize your safety um, and that, you know, again, no medal or medal count should ever, you know, like top any of those things. And not that, you know, she needs any advice. Um, you know, she's obviously um, experienced and, and so well prepared, but at the same time, it's, it's more so been, um, you know, trying to get that, I, I guess, across that, you know, not, she doesn't need to do anything else um, out there for anybody to be more proud. And, you know, again, she's setting this example that I think is so important. Um, and to be able to, you know, talk about mental health you know, and to be able to 
know that she's on the biggest stage, you know, in the entire world and yet she's prioritizing the things that are most important. Like that to me um, is what a role model, you know, looks, looks like and, and that's Simone. She's already inspired millions and millions and millions of people.